Hi, it's me, Dark Energy. I guess you could say I make up 68% of the universe. Where do I come from? I'm glad you asked. To understand, we need the first Friedman equation. It kind of describes the universe like a ball. Just as a thrown ball is driven upwards by its kinetic energy and pulled back down by gravity, the universe is driven towards expansion by a sort of kinetic energy and pulled in towards contraction by the gravity of all the stuff in the universe. The left-hand side of the Friedman equation describes this fight between kinetic and potential energy. The right-hand side describes the shape of the universe. If you throw the ball up and it comes back down, gravity beats kinetic energy. This means you have a spherical universe which expands and then contracts. Now if you throw the ball harder at escape velocity that means kinetic energy will equal the gravity so it will keep moving up and slow down as it approaches infinity. This gives us a flat universe which expands forever while slowing down. If you throw the ball even harder kinetic energy will beat potential energy. The ball will keep moving upwards at a constant velocity. This gives us a hyperbolic universe which expands forever at a constant rate. Going back to the Friedman equation, we can actually find numbers for both sides of the expression. We can figure out the shape by using an image of the early universe known as the cosmic microwave background radiation. And we can make triangles between two points on the CMBR and us just like this. If the angles of a triangle add up to more than 180 degrees, the universe is spherical. If the sum is exactly 180, the universe is flat. If the sum is below 180, it's a Pringle. Just kidding, it's called hyperbolic. Our current measurements reveal that the universe is basically flat. Kind of boring, IMO. Something weird happens on the left-hand side of the equation, though. To measure the expansion of the universe, scientists turn to type 1a supernovae. These types of star explosions have predictable luminosities and can be used as standard candles. If you take candles that emit the same brightness, but place them varying distances away, the candles that are closer will have a higher apparent brightness than the ones that are farther away. Similarly, these supernovae can be used to measure distances across space. With this, we find that the universe expansion isn't reversing, slowing down, or constant, it's actually speeding up, accelerating. It's almost as if when you throw the ball up, a mysterious force is making it accelerate upwards. And that force is dark energy. The previous motto does not work, so we need to add this term representing dark energy to the equation to reconcile this flat and accelerating universe. You can think of dark energy as a negative pressure. If positive pressure pushes things in, negative pressure pushes it outwards. Dark energy is also intrinsic to space. As there's more space, there's more dark energy, there's more acceleration, and then there's more space again. This causes runaway expansion, and pretty soon dark energy will rule the entire cosmos.